Hello. Hi. Welcome back to the Unbounded Artistry Podcast. We are back with episode 12. Yeah, look at us go. Can't stop this train now. We are going and going and going and going. <laughs> yes, we are. Um, so, oh, a uh, quick bit of uh, information that we want to share real quick. Um, we're going to be uploading the podcast videos and also any of our random YouTube videos on Wednesdays. Yes. So we will be bringing you your videos on hump day going forward. Just as an FYI. Yes. Um, so this week, I think we're going to hop right back into uh, the shell, the shell of, of conversation. conversation. I believe this is your week. My week. Yeah, because I think the last one I picked was why. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a fun topic. So. Yeah. Okay. Got to go in. We just going in. We reach in. Pick a topic. We pick. And what do we got? Let's Let see. us know. Oh, this is a long one. Oh, good. <laughs> it's from Lothar. He was waiting for his to get picked. So this is from Lothar in our Discord. If this was a normal non-COVID year, what sorts of things do you guys like to fill your time with when not streaming? Games, travel, long walks, etc. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Wow. Yes. Oh, I should probably keep it open so we can yeah, yeah. reference. Um, who wants to start? You go. I'll start. Okay. Um, I think one thing that I miss is our kind of yearly vacation. <laughs> oh God, what's vacation? Yeah, it's been quite a few years now, but we like to kind of just set aside time, like at least once a year, to kind of take like a a week vacation somewhere. Usually, like around our anniversary. Yeah. So we've kind of missed that whole experience. Um. I feel like it might still be a couple of years before we feel comfortable to start doing that again. So yeah, it's going to be a little while, but I, I know would... like some people have still like done a vacation kind of thing, mm -hmm. but I don't know. To me, like, I feel like if I want to go on vacation, I want it to be super relaxing, like super like re recharging and stuff like that. And I don't feel like I can do that. Like, yeah. I feel like I would be still like hyper vigilant and like really like, I wouldn't enjoy myself. Yeah. Like, I don't think not, I would fully. Not quite yet. Yeah. But that's what we would be doing. We would be scheduling our vacation probably right around this time. Um, and then also looking at like what kind of activities we'd be doing there. Um, we've come to learn that the fewer things that you plan, um, the better the vacation is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, like when we first started doing this on our honeymoon, we scheduled out like the whole week and we tried to do like so many things. And at the end of it, we were just exhausted. exhausted. We're like, we need a vacation from this vacation. Yeah. <laughs> so the next time we went, like we just picked like, you know, two main things to do. And then the rest of the week, we would just kind of relax and just kind of do things nearby and also just spend a lot of time like at the beach. Yeah, just find things like on the fly. We're like, oh, this looks fun. Let's go try this and let's go do that. And it was a lot more relaxing doing it that way. Uh, so what else do you think we'd be doing right now if there was no COVID? Um, art shows. Oh, I forgot all about art shows. I like art and crafts and all that fun stuff. Like the art shows and the festivals and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of festivals in Buffalo. Yeah. Like they have like a food festival and they got like all the... Well, local festivals and then there's like a art yeah, shows yeah and craft shows and all sorts of fun stuff we were even like thinking about like having our own table at one of like the art shows and stuff for a while and that never happened yeah that might not happen for a while but yeah, probably not but it was something we were thinking about doing because we we're like well why can't like we can make 90 percent of the things here but like um I don't know. It was just something we've always kind of like thought about doing, but they're really expensive to yes, set up they are. to begin with. And now I'm like, I yeah. don't even know. If that's something and then I'm also, doing. you never know what the weather is going to be like either. Yeah. It could rain, mm -hmm. get rained out. Um, yeah. But I love just going to those. Me too. It's just cool just to see what everyone's working on and get inspired. And also the food. Oh, the yeah. food is so good. <laughs> just like getting to like walk around outside and just like, it's just fun. Yeah. Fun stuff. Um, 
also about walking outside, just the local parks that we really want to go to. Uh, we would be at right now. Yeah. Um, but like, like we've missed like multiple seasons of like photography and yeah. video and stuff. Because a lot of the parks that we really like to go to are a little bit more narrow. I think we've probably the covered paths, that. Yeah. yeah, covered that before. But we just don't feel comfortable yet going there. But hopefully pretty soon. Yeah. We've been trying to go to like more open, <clears throat> different parks that are like more open space that are not like paths, so to speak. But there's just not a lot of stuff. Yeah, that that we know like, about. I mean, as far as like it's more, I feel like it's better for like landscapey stuff than for like nature photography. Yeah, that's not a whole lot of animals. Yeah. Um. Hmm. But hopefully soon, soon. Hopefully. What else? Um, I really enjoy home renovation. <laughs> um, yeah, you do. Like, I like doing the indoor stuff, obviously, but like, I, I also love to like do stuff outside, like um, fixing like the landscaping and like fixing up just stuff around the house. And I had like all of these plans for 2020. I was like, Oh, I'm going to redo the driveway. I'm going to paint the shutters. We're going to do this. We're going to do that and make it look all cute. And then that happened. And now I don't feel comfortable being outside. And then like, I still don't feel comfortable being outside because our neighbors just like to wander into our yard and try to talk to us, even though like COVID, <laughs> um, because that was happening like early on when this first started happening. And I was like, um, I don't feel comfortable. And like, now I've got all this like medical stuff too. So I've kind of, I don't know, had like a phobia of like going outside because I'm afraid people are going to like approach and like, I'm very like, I don't want to be rude. So I feel like I would probably put myself in situations I don't want to be in <laughs> just because <laughs> I was like, yeah, hi, how are you? But also get the hell away from me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's just like a lot of stuff around the house I've wanted to do that have been on hold for a while. Um so that's kind of annoying. A little bit. But, you know, that's something I would want to be doing right now. But we'll get to it eventually, I suppose. Yeah. What else? What else um, will we be doing? Well, probably uh, seeing a lot more of our family and friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be so awkward like when we are able to actually like see people in person i was already awkward to begin with but now it's gonna be i feel like, like even i'm more awkward than you i don't think so what i do i don't i 100 percent do i feel like weird around people like even pre-covid i mean if we're talking about like people like in the offices where we work and stuff like that like i never really felt comfortable there to begin with like I hated when they like were like, nice to meet you. And they were like, put out their hand. I'm like, please don't talk. Please <laughs> let's not do this. This was even like before COVID. I don't like shaking people's hands that I don't know. Yeah. Because it's like so many times, like you go to the, like the bathroom and then while you're in there, you just see somebody come in, use the urinal or walk out of a stall. And uh, they just go right out the door. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, Nice. I feel like people still do that. Oh, I'm sure they still do. And that's why I'm not shaking hands going forward. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of going to become more normalized. I mean, I don't know. I feel like people are going to be like, hey, what's up? And they're putting their hand out. And I'm like, just I just. The elbow thing. Like, no, I'll just no. stare at it. I'm just going to make it real awkward. Just be like, no. I'm not even going to say no. I'm just going to stare at it and <laughs> look back at them with intense eyes. <laughs> <laughs> just to make it really awkward i also don't like the people that are close talkers i hated that when i worked in like retail like you'd get these people that would like literally walk up to you and be like hi can you help me with something right now i need you to look and see if you have this i'm like um you're a little too close there's can you a, back up a bubble of personal space and you have popped it yeah they, they it like joined your personal bubble <laughs> <laughs> Like, I, I didn't like that at all. And it would always be the people with, like, the worst breath as well. Oh, it God, smelled, like, so rancid. And it's like, come on, people. Mm -hmm. Please back off. 
I don't know. I mean, even like I think just with, with friends and family, I think I'm going to be awkward because I'm going to be like, I don't know what to talk about. I mean, there's not much to talk about. We didn't do anything. Nobody's, well, I mean, well, not nobody's not done nobody. anything, but we haven't done anything. <laughs> like, yeah, every day is kind of. I mean, we've done stuff, just not. Stuff that they really would want to know about. <laughs> yeah, or understand. But so. yeah, I do miss like having like the cookouts with family and stuff like that. And also like the game nights with friends. Like they would come over, we'd play like board games or card we would games. play card games or video games or just hang out by like and have like a fire or something like that. Yeah. I miss that. I also miss beer. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a beer in, well, before covid started like two years yeah um so that's... for some reason like you can get alcohol delivered but not yeah beer. like it's so weird like yeah you can have like hard liquor or wine delivered but you can't get beer so strange huh so so weird yep but yeah now i'm looking forward to cracking open a cold one eventually <laughs> Um, and I'll be like, oh, I used to drink this stuff. Oh, <laughs> maybe my, I like the way beer tastes. Maybe my taste palette has changed, though. It could be. I mean, you never know. It is, it is possible. It'd be disappointing. <laughs> like, I couldn't wait. And then I'm like, oh, I don't really like it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I do miss that. Let's see, what else do I miss? I really miss. I think one of the biggest things that I miss is like the live band karaoke. Me and my best friend used to go and do like live band karaoke, and it was so fun. It was like, so. I don't know if that's gonna be around anymore. Yeah, I don't know this. either because they wouldn't be able to do it for so long. Like I don't know how they maintain the building without having people there. Yeah, like paying. Uh, I don't know. Like I feel like a lot of businesses aren't gonna make it through. Like a lot of yeah, a lot of places are small already places. Closed. Yeah. It's kind of sad. So I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. We did our best to try to support a lot of the restaurants. Uh, mm -hmm. Order takeout. See what comes out <laughs> on the other side. I don't know. Like, I don't know what's going to be left of like the life we used to know kind of thing on the other side of this. I think it's going to be a mix of things. Like uh, a lot of things are going to be exactly the same. And then some things are going to be a little bit different. Mm hmm. <clears throat> like they were saying um they think like going forward in the future people are going to like normalize like wearing masks if you're sick and stuff like that which i think is a good thing um, I, yeah i definitely think it's a good thing like if you're sick and you're not feeling well and you go grocery shopping like it's an easy way to kind of stel or stop per uh, i can't speak <laughs> stop the transmission of like the flu or any other thing like even the cold or whatever yeah so i don't know I guess that'll be a good thing. But I think a lot of things are going to be the same as well. Like, they've already got, like, people returning, like, the sporting events and stuff like that and concerts. Like, mm -hmm. Makes me super nervous. Yeah, that stuff kind of makes me nervous, too. But that's not something we're doing right now. No. I, I feel like we're going to be, like, last on board because I can't even get vaccinated because of, like, my medical stuff. So I feel like we're on the slow train to recovery. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Um Yeah. Oi. Well, we're we're getting there. I mean I don't know. We're on our way. What else would we be doing? Um Well, uh kind of talking about like events, like uh we would be going to see like the Quiet Place part two. Oh yeah. And now we have to wait. Yeah, we have to wait because it's like won't be released digitally until like 30 or 60 days after the theater release or something like that. I've been waiting for that movie for so long because a lot of it was filmed around here. So I'm like, come on. I yeah, see like it. from the trailer alone, we recognize so many things like yeah. locally. It's awesome. Yeah, I think the other big movie that was shot here was uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. Mm -hmm. And I think I remember which highway it was, too. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Now we have to wait longer. Yeah. It's kind of interesting that they choose like Buffalo as a place to shoot movies like because they, they could shoot like technically anywhere in the U.S. or anywhere in the world. Yeah, but, but we're already like pre run down. So yeah. like, you know, post apocalyptic. <laughs> yeah. Buffalo is an old city. We're so. ready. 
<laughs> like where where's a good place like should really we be honored that? or should we be offended i'm not sure <laughs> well i think it's something that they're trying to do more of is get more people to consider buffalo a place to do movies and shows that would be cool i mean they're trying they're definitely trying to like build up like our waterfront and stuff like that and yeah turn us around a little bit yeah we'll but see. there's still a lot of places that need some t- tlc some? there's a lot yeah but yeah um i'm trying to think what else would we be doing mm. i don't know i feel like we're already like really like loners so some stuff like I miss that we haven't been able to do, but a lot of the stuff is just kind of like what we'd be doing anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of the stuff we would be doing either way, like uh, the streaming stuff, but probably not as much of the streaming stuff. Yeah, like I feel like in a weird way, like it helped us to do more of that and focus more on like uh, some of our businessy stuff. Cause... Mm-hmm. Nothing else to do. Yeah. <laughs> so in a way, it was a good thing. Um. Yeah, I think the other thing would be like just going out to restaurants and having like dinner out or going to a bar just to grab drinks and the dessert hibachi. or something like that. Hibachi. Oh, hibachi. I love hibachi. It's always fun. Yeah. Those people are super skilled. Yeah. I couldn't do I, any of those things. I love things. when they do the little like fire train with the <laughs> So fun. Like, I, can't, I don't The even, volcano. Yeah. I, like I don't understand volcano. how they like they're so nimble with like. Yeah. <laughs> so skillful yeah it's crazy they make it so entertaining it's like dinner in the show it is it definitely oh, is i miss going to the theater i want to see musical it'd be so fun not with you because okay. you never i was like i, I like I, to participate I, but it's <laughs> not really my thing not not really my thing but you'd go with like your fam yeah <laughs> so fun oh that stuff um hmm i mean concerts but i haven't really been to a concert in a while me either now that i think of it even even like before covid we did like the some of those outdoor like concerts like that beatles rooftop thing oh yeah yeah we did that like that that was like they uh, have like some events like around here that are like free concerts and stuff that are fun was that free Mm mm-hmm Oh, I didn't think it was free. Yeah, it was free. Oh, we just brought pay. our chairs. Remember? Yeah. The food's not free. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's free. There's a lot of free like hmm. concert events and stuff. Yeah, they like closed the down a few streets and they had like that rooftop. Mm-hmm. Fun things like that. But yeah, besides that, I don't think we've. I don't think we've been to a concert together. Yeah, our concert days were before we met. Apparently. Apparently. I don't know what. I don't think a lot of people, I mean, there are concerts here, but I don't know. Not like, do, I don't know, but like there have been maybe a handful of bands that have come here that I'm like, oh, I really want to see them. Like most of them, I'm like, mm. yeah, like it has to be like something I really, really want to see for me to like go to a concert. Yeah. For it to be worth it. Hmm. But maybe one day. Huh. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, collecting beach glass. Oh, yeah, we'd definitely be doing that. Um, Basically, normally, as soon as the first, like, warm day hits. Not even. Yeah. It's, like, still icy. Yeah. There's still, like, ice on the beach where we go, usually. The first sunny day where it's not snowing. (laughs) Like, usually it's, like, early, like, April. And then we go and we'll collect a beach class. And this will be, like, ice all on the lake and stuff. Yeah. But we would spend, like, all day doing that. So much fun. It is a lot of fun. But, like... It just doesn't make sense to do that Mm-mm. because, like, there's no bathrooms and nothing's open. And yeah, if we're gonna spend the whole day there, it's like it doesn't make sense to. Yeah, it takes a while to get there too, to so it's like it's not something we can just kind of go to and then come back. It's like you have to plan out like a day. Mm-hmm. Mm. But that's what we'd be doing. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was thinking. What? Um. Once in a while, we like to go to like the park and like throw the football around. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> we would go and we'd like kick the soccer ball around or throw like a little football around. Just, just fun times, fun stuff. Just be kids. Yeah, that's so fun. That's always fun to do. It is fun. 
I think the last time we did that, we did that with like your brother. Mm-hmm. We were just like kicking the football, or oh, well, we, we were kicking a football too, but we were throwing the football around and the soccer ball. Kicking yeah, the soccer ball. It's just really fun, just to like get out and like run just around, mess around. And, yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I don't think we ever. I mean, we would go on walks, but that wasn't like a big thing no it was mostly like we wanted to go places and do stuff yeah but or be like outside working on like the garden or stuff in the backyard um that's more what you like to do i mean you did it i don't know if you liked it i I don't i don't like it well you like the end product yes i like the end product but grilling you like to grill? I like to grill, but I think our grill yeah. took a few too many hits this winter, and I'm scared to it use just it. Kept, every time we would look outside, I was like, oh, the grill flipped over again. Yeah. It just kept falling. I don't know what it was with this past winter, but it was so windy. Like, I don't understand. Yeah. Like it, it's never been like this where the grill would get toppled. Like, I think it, before this, it happened once in like the past, what, five or six years. Yeah. But this so... past winter, it was like every other day. And then <laughs> we just like left it at one point. We're yeah, just, I'm just, just like, I'm, I'm, I'm done with it's it. It's covered. It's yeah. like on its side. Just leave it. Yeah. And then I'm just scared to use it now. Yeah. So I don't know. It's just not in use. Yeah. Cause it's point. a, it's a propane one. So if there's a leak, that could be bad. So yeah. it's not just like a coal grill. Let's not blow our house up. I probably need a new grill anyways. So yeah. If I decide in the future to get a new grill, I'll, I'll do it, but it's fine. Mm-hmm. It's not something I miss that much. Hmm. I mean, it's nice, but it's like at the same time, I don't want that one to just keep falling over either, you know? Yeah, true. Uh, it just think. must be the way that our house sits. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I feel like we get a lot of like wind. Yeah, like everything blows into our yard. Yeah, for however we're situated yeah we get all the garbage collecting in our yard yeah awesome. any like litter it's just like <laughs> blows into our yard i'm like what is this <laughs> come on guys um, um what else hmm. mm. i mean we would like to doing like little road trips and stuff mm-hmm. we haven't done that in a long time hmm. yeah like mini day trips yeah so fun there are places that we were looking at, like trying to go to, but we just never made it. Like, um, like Allegheny or something like that, or back to like Letchworth, some of the state parks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel weird about going places because I don't know like what it's gonna be like. Yeah, I'm just like worried that we'll get there, like we'll go all that way, and then we're just like gonna be uncomfortable. You know, it's, yeah. like not even worth going so oh like the aquarium and stuff going to the aquarium going to the, the zoo. zoo seeing the aminals yeah i miss that i love doing that kind of stuff so, so kind of like day trippy things yeah going to the falls yeah i don't even know if the like canada border is opened yet like i don't know if that's been they're resolved. allowing us in anymore. Yeah, like I don't know if they've opened it because I know it was closed for a while. Like, not sure. I'm not sure. Like I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention to it, so. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. Yeah, so. so. I'm not sure. But um, I think there's also other things too. But I think that's the majority of. Yeah. Kind of what we. What we like doing. What we would have been doing. Well, I've always kind of wanted to try out the driving range. Like, I haven't. Oh, yeah. We would talk about that a lot. We never did it. Yeah. That'd be something that I wanted to be doing, I think. Mm -hmm. Because it's fun. Like, you don't need to be good at golf. You just knock some golf balls around. Yeah. (laughs) I think it's just in general, like, we're very, like, outdoorsy people. So it kind of sucks that, like, we can't go outside. Yeah. I mean, we can, but we can't. (laughs) It's just not a comfortable feeling. Yeah. But we'll we'll be there soon, I think. Yeah, like we've tried to go to a couple places that we know are like 
quieter. Yeah, quieter. Like there's not going to be a lot of people. And then even like if we come across like one or two people, I'm like, oh God. <laughs> yeah, and then we just Get go away. around and try to avoid them. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Doing hiking and stuff. Or walks. I miss all of that. Mm-hmm. Well. Hopefully soon enough. Yeah. We'll get back to it. Yeah, hopefully this is kind of we're approaching the end of it. Like I don't think we are at the end quite yet, but I think we're we're making progress. So. Mhm. Yeah. We're getting there. Mhm. It's definitely better than what it was at one point, so. Mhm. <laughs> but there's, there's also a lot of countries that are also going through a, a lot right now, yeah. too. Yeah. It's like crazy. Like then, then there's like the countries that like were doing really well, and then all of a sudden, like now they're doing horribly yeah. because like there was like a new infection or something, and then it caused like a whole new wave of things. It's yeah, just, it's scary because like you feel like you can kind of like breathe a little bit, and then then it comes it just, right back. Yeah, it just starts up again, and it's like you have to continue being vigilant mm-hmm. because it can just smack you out of nowhere again. It's yeah. just hard to feel like comfortable. Yeah, there's like so many unknowns right now as yeah. well. But hopefully <laughs> we are approaching the end of it. So yeah. <laughs> that's all that's all we can do is just hope that we're near the end. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like even though there's a lot of things that I miss, I feel like overall we've done pretty well throughout the pandemic as far as like our mental stability and stuff because we're kind of homebodies anyway like we do like going we're very outdoorsy but it's like just usually you and me like it's not like we're like out on party boats every weekend or something like that i I, I don't like boats (laughs) (laughs) i would not be on a boat but you know what i mean i get motion sickness like i feel like we've, we've been okay we've been chilling like we're lucky that we're just like okay I'm over okay just being indoors and working on art and yeah. streaming and whatever. Like it's fine. We have a lot of indoor hobbies, so mm-hmm. it works out. Yeah. It's just, it, it's gotten harder for me. Like, I'll look, look outside and I'm like, oh, it's such a nice day. Like, this would be a really great day to go and, like, go to this specific park. Like, it would be so pretty. And I'm sure that there's a lot of, like, wild animals out, but, like, it's probably also super crowded. Yeah. So I'm like, uh eh. No. <laughs> Pros, cons. Yeah. All right. We'll see. But yeah. I think that's about it. I think so too. Yeah. I can't really think of um anything else really. I mean, like I said, there's probably some smaller things, but I think that's the majority of the larger things that we'd be doing right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You miss all of that stuff. Yeah. Me too. It's just, I don't know, kind of crushing to think that, like, you've almost wasted, like, two years of your life doing nothing. Not that we've done nothing, but, like... (laughs) Now that you put it that way. Like, memories that you could have been making or things that you could have been doing. And, like, it's just, like, your life has been put on hold for such a long time. You're never going to get that time back. No. But you can try to make it up whenever things kind of actually go back to normal. Yeah a lot of making up yep missed holidays and birthdays everything in between (laughs) yep all right yeah so i think that about wraps it up for this week Mm -hmm. any life update um so yeah i think there are a couple life updates um we started tearing apart our dining room um we are going to turn it into another area to shoot kind of like talking head things for our youtube Mm -hmm. it's been fun but also a little challenging because um migas is kind of another thing like we would have been doing is like going out and shopping and buying things and like not like just like frivolous buying but like i always like to like pick up things here and there and I'm like oh I want to redesign this room or oh I like I just really like doing interior design kind of <laughs> stuff 
Um, so I don't know. I've been like kind of itching to do that, even though like we're not really buying anything new. So I'm trying to work with like what we've got. Mm -hmm. um, but we discovered that the paint I wanted to use to touch up our wall is like thick and chunky. We must have not had the lid. Yeah, I don't think our lid was on tight enough. There must have been air getting in. Um, but we saw that. I guess you can take like some of it and like mix it with water and do like a patch test and see if that helps because it just needs a little bit of touching up yeah i feel like it needs some added liquid because right now when you try to put it on it's like peeling off the existing paint yeah. it's like it's thick it's like putty <laughs> it's so weird um so i don't know it's like paint remover paint <laughs> so i'm excited weird. to get that like redone though yeah. um because we were basically not using that room at all we kind of talked about that mm -hmm. in the last podcast so. yeah so we're, we're gonna have a purpose for it yeah. and uh i'm gonna use it for youtube so that'll be fun. I think. <laughs> um, anything else going on? Um, I think the only other update is that um, we did go to a park recently mm -hmm. uh, and we got eaten alive. Oh my God. You more than me because I was covered. You were not covered. Yeah. The, like, I don't understand. I feel like for me. I feel like mosquitoes. it's too early in the season for this many mosquitoes, but they're like swarming. They're massive too. Yeah, they're, they're huge. huge. And they were like swarming in these big clusters. And I'm like, oh no. Like I was like literally running around with like my, sh my shirt like over my mouth because I didn't want to like breathe one in. Yeah, I got one stuck in my eye. Yeah, she got one in her eye for, I don't know. How I don't that know happened. if it was a mosquito, but some she kind of bug kind was of bug like under my eye. eyelid. Yeah. And like I was trying to like get it out for like hours. Yeah. But she, she finally got it out. She had to and use like, like a my head in yeah, water and use like, like a, a Q-tip. Q oh, so gross. Yeah, that was fun. Ew. <laughs> Better you than me. <laughs> <laughs> I was freaking out. I was like, "There's something in there." I, I'd probably freak out because I had like when I was a kid, I had a piece of metal like stuck in my eye from like one of those like indoor like what do you call them? Like the little, the kid little gym kind yeah, of like you want to play. It's like a giant indoor, indoor play area with all these different things, and there's like this kind of zip liney thing, and it was like basically metal on metal. I don't know why they thought this was a good idea, but like the handle that you grab onto is like in a metal track, and then like it was like rubbing against like the actual like thing holding it up there, so it was like creating like metal shards, and one of those got in my eye yeah i feel like my parents could have literally sued this place for like thousands of dollars if not maybe even more than that <laughs> and then but they didn't i don't know why but um yeah they should have uh just saying but yeah i had to go to the hospital and have it like removed out of my eye it was God, that's yeah. terrifying how old were you i was little i was like i don't know probably around 10 or younger god yeah you're lucky you still have your eyesight yeah That's like scary. it was like it was stuck in my eye like they had to like remove it like, yeah well and then they're like oh we could give you a pass to come back i'm like no i'm never going back yeah like i'm saying like my parents probably could have sued them for a lot but they didn't well so i think they went out of business anyways so it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> oh boy but yeah, it was a uh, it was interesting. Um, I just like wish there was like more wildlife. Like it's nice to get out there, but like I don't know, I just miss like the places we're used to going. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more wildlife. Hopefully, pretty soon. Mm -hmm. I have like a lot of medical stuff going on, but I'm probably gonna do a separate video um, on the YouTube channel about that. So if you're interested. It'll be on there. Um, but other than that, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's about it for this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so thank you again, Lothar, for that topic. Yes, we finally picked yours. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think we're running, kind of running out. We got about six left in here, mm -hmm. six topics. So uh, if you have any others, you can drop them in our Discord or put it in the YouTube comments or tweet it at us at Tealfish Studio. Um, if you're watching the video format of the podcast, you can always listen to it on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, or Stitcher. 
And if you're listening and you want to watch, you can find it on our YouTube channel. Yes. So thank you again for listening. And until next time, may your artistry always be unbound. Bye. Bye.